Another issue I got involved in was the swine flu vaccine in 1976. I had been contacted by uh, the former uh, Secretary of Health and Human Services, John Gardner, saying something bad was going on about vaccines. Jim Turner. Oh, this is Jim Turner. Yeah. Jim I met Turner. him in um, San Fran. He actually still looks like that. He just looks a little older. Yep, there he is. This case took seven years. And he was funded by a lot of his colleagues who supported his honesty. There were at least 10, if not more, other people within the DBS who had similar concerns, but all of the others were too scared to stand up. And only Bernice Eddy and Tony were prepared to stand up for the truth, even though it would mean their, the suicide of their career. The flu vaccine is highly hyped at best. A flu vaccine is not particularly effective, and it's not really all that useful. And interestingly enough, when it was first brought on the market, it was identified as the most vulnerable people to the vaccine's side effects were children and the elderly. And now, as things have altered, those two groups are identified as being the target group. The swine flu thing emerged. And we continued to move the ball forward and argue that it was not proper. Ended up with the um, U.S. government trying to inoculate 200 million people and having to withdraw the program after 49 million were inoculated. All of that whole framework is a political framework uh, dominated by interests that are, do not advance the interests of the consumer. And whether or not one takes any particular vaccine is something one should look at very carefully. And the right for them to choose whether to do that or not should be protected by law. Incidentally, the oops on that slide was because when President Ford got that picture taken, he was actually being injected with the wrong flu vaccine.